Greetings everyone, today we're gonna have the Foxhall Fighter Kite. Foxhall is ideal sandbox military war simulator for MMO gamers. Actually, don't forget to comment, subscribe and be ready. We are starting. So, I have played a ton of games. They attempted to capture the force and feeling of playing in a virtual world, but none of them has hit as many of the right notes as the Foxhall. Most of those gamers will focus on the combat, running, gunning, and claiming territory by wiping out the enemy or meeting some other conditions. In Foxhole, while there is a fair amount of combat, it is equally as important that players in the back lines harvest craft and supply those positions on the front. The games take place in a time period similar to 1940s, but it has nothing to do with either of the Great Wars. There are no actual real-world countries represented in the game, nor any or the real-life issues that involve the rain. But it's said that time period with respect to technology, as players have tanks, rifles and armaments similarly designed and available in that era. Much of the combat on the front lines take place in trenches or similar dugout foxholes. An amazing, helpful and collaborative experience. It's have been a few years since we've taken a serious look at the game. So I think the time period rather than listing of the, these games, I'll give you a walkthrough of my first gaming experience in a foxhole. I was able to get a taste of almost every slice of the game. As soon as I loaded in, while I was reading some of the pop-up hints and looking at where to go as tutorial, I heard players words. Hey, how are you? New? Do you want to learn a little about the game while also being helpful for our faction? Well, geek the up. Let's go. Usually I'd want to see what the true beginner experience from the tutorial forward is, but I really couldn't turn down an opportunity like that one. Another new player that spawned right after me agreed as well, and the three of us began our evening tasks. It began by a discussion on types of resources available and where to get started. He helped us some harvest gear, gear find some trucks to load the new raw materials into, and directed us where to go. So we drove off and started smashing trash for the real materials. We loaded up our trucks, drove back to a rifle and set the raw means to be converted some process one. There was a time, short time, to wait for that to compete. So while we waited, we parked out the harvesting trucks and got some trucks suited for the new materials. Once those were loaded up with the refined goods, we drove across the streets to factory to make some useful. Our guide gave us advice on what was the best to help our faction in different events. In this case, we choose to make shirts. Basically, bases need suppliers to allow players to respond there. I think the number of the shirts at a base is the number of response available. Once we waited a little longer for the final product to be crafted, there was uploaded up into another truck and uh, made our way toward the front lines. Now it does appear that the individual player has some fast travel capabilities when you don't want to move yourself, but if you have a truck full of equipment, you have to haul that puppy personally. It was actually a real pleasant experience, I was in the back of the truck while my co noob drove and our guide navigated. He had ton of useful tips about the game that raised the bar on the overall game experience. I'm not sure it wouldn't be even half as fun for me to have Rob thrown as a solo, but as group it was a cool time. Finally, about 10 or 15 minutes later, when we arrived at the front base, he showed us how to deliver the goods and even was kind enough to hold the equipment, so that both my co-noob and I were able to deliver some supplies. The reason he didn't this was that the both of our names would be sent out to the team indicating we have delivered supplies and we both got some commendations and thereby some XP to level up. After that, he helped gear us some actual combat and we went through the trenches. I didn't last at all. I probably would be aided by playing the actual tutorial on how to fight. But I didn't hate the combat experience in any case. I mentioned this at the top, but I really wanted to drive it at home a bit more comparing its gameplay to some specific MMO war games. The first comparison based on the time period might be called Call of Duty games. Foxhole is no way attempting to run that road too, where code is aiming for the realism in the graphics and intensity of the combat due to the first person viewpoint. Foxhole takes a more strategic approach to combat. For starters, Foxhole uses a top-down POV with very limited range of visibility. If you have a rifle equipped and you hold down the right mouse button to aim, the camera will be forward further than you can point. 
click and shoot but aren't going to be sitting in a building with the wall next to you blown out so you can jump and start it popping off headshots when playing foxhole you around a superhero with a skill bar of full powers that can wipe up with the whole troop regime yes you can be a large contributor and make important combat moves but that's just another one of many ways to play instead it felt more like being another cog in machine competing my tax to help the overall faction or small bit time now supplying the front lines might lead to some comparison to rvr games like guild wars 2 or vvv or even chrome files infected or dx campaigns gv2's comparison ends only with the capture of forts and the occasional caravan runs Crowfile is much closer, but it's still more heavy a game about the combat side things. In Crowfile players, the failure reliant on the crafters to build up stockpile of decent gear and materials for upgrading force, but it doesn't feel as impactful. When you die in Crowfile, you aren't literally counting the number of respawns crafters have left available at the nearest base. Without any side eyes, players can honestly avoid the combat side of the game completely and be a pure gutter for the crafter. It will depend on the player whether it is fulfilling experience or not too. Unlike in a, typical, in a typical MMO, there is not going to be a trading power or shop to sell your extra goods at all. Everything you will build you do so for your faction war effort. Personally it will be a funny side once a while, but it would begin to feel very repetitive and grindy for my tastes. There is no say there aren't personal rewards for supplying frontline base. In fact, whenever you do, a message show goes to your faction indicating that you are done so, which often results in players sending commendations for you, which in turn can level you up. Now the fact you aren't going to be dropping half the enemy forces with the headshots to solo capture a base and the crafting is going to make you ultra rich, I didn't even begin to describe all of the different buildings, gear and ornaments you can build for your fraction, or how critical and crucial was the watchtowers and even roads are efficient to save travel. If you are evil played it or not, do a shot. I'd love to hear how you experience this. Leave the comments in the comment section. Peace.